Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to NSW Smackdown Live. My name, of course, is Dave Easton. We welcome you to a packed Memphis FedEx Forum for what should be an exciting night of action here from the blue brand, of course, after the draft of last week. We have got a huge main event. These One of these five men will take on Simon Kether at TLC. Thomas N, Danny Six, Finn Balor, Daniel Cage, or Travis Soul, the Velveteen Dream. One of these five men, it will be an elimination match. The winner goes on to face the World Heavyweight Champion at TLC in less than two weeks. Maybe less than two weeks. It'll be like after next week's show, I guess. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Coming up, we're going to kick things off with the Intercontinental Champion, Vladimir, as he takes on the Woken Littlewood. We take and kick things off with a bang right now on SmackDown Live. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, he is Woken Littlewood. Yeah, the uh, just the, the very strange uh, little wood which has happened in the last few years. Now a part of the SmackDown brand, of course, after the draft last week. Uh, now looking to set his sights, looks like on the big Russian Vladimir. He is a. Uh, he's been broken. He's been woken. He's been, well, everything you can think of, really. This guy, but. Don't get us wrong, he is, his success has been very, very good inside the ring. And uh, a big win here tonight could put him right in that Intercontinental title race, of course. With uh, Mass Freeway looking for an opponent for Vladimir, possibly for TLC. Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent being accompanied to the ring by the Professor Yuri Watson. He is the current Intercontinental Champion, Vladimir! Yeah, this guy, uh, not a, a nice person to be around. Let's just say that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just, let's just throw that out there. Vladimir, of course, along with the Professor Yuri Watson, current Intercontinental Champion, uh, now held the title for 89 days since beaten Willie Street back at Christmas Carnage and uh, yeah not many people come close to even beating this man never mind getting a shot at the Intercontinental title it has been well the crowd here as you can tell not very uh, welcoming for our Intercontinental Champion But can Woken Littlewood pick up a big winner? Can Vladimir uh, give a warm welcome to the Woken one here on Smackdown Live? Here we go, underway. Thank you, as always, for joining uh, us for NSW. If you're watching us live on Twitch, or if you are watching us on demand on YouTube, of course. If you're watching us on YouTube, give us a like, share and subscribe. If you haven't followed the channel on Twitch, please do so. It's Vladimir running through Woken Littlewood to start things off with no walking little coming back with a big clothesline sending the big Russian into the corner alley -oop. oh wouldn't it just be right for walking little to pick up a win here on it on his, on his first night on Smackdown into a cover first one of the matchup not gonna get more than a one though and I see in this inner colonel title win of Vladimir oh well I was just gonna say Big chop by Woodward, not going to get anywhere, but sends the big rush into the outside. As Yuri Watson has, has sort of brought out a, a very mean streak in Vladimir. But uh, look at the walking little, trying to come back, gets a palm strike for his uh, troubles here. Back inside the ring, look out, scooped by the big Russian and the power slam. And you can tell the professor was happy with that on the outside. Balls to the back. B 
big shot by Vladimir. As you see, the fans here in Memphis not uh, enjoying this off the ropes. Oh, boot right between the eyes and walking little wood down. Oh, wait a minute, I was gonna say down there, but look at this coming back here. Never count out the strangeness of Wilbur DDT. Big matches coming up tonight as well, ladies and gentlemen. I want to stay around here. Wait a minute. Side effect by Woken Lillard. And now look at Yuri Watson. The Yuri Watson getting involved here. And Vladimir can take full advantage. Oh! Right on the ribs. And now, all of a sudden, just like when it looked like little Broken Lillwood had a chance. Sorry, Woken Lillwood, apologies. Vanimia coming back with a big suplex. Now, up again. Oh, drops him with the Russian lot. The Russian drop, sorry. Into the cover. Hook of the leg. It looks like it could be over. No! Two can only. The Woken one still in this matchup. Now, look at this. <laughs> Taunt in the fans here in Memphis is the Russian. As he has Woken a little bit just where he wants him. But just as I say that, big shot. And now, second big fist stops the Russian. No, I was going to say stops the Russian. His track doesn't. Big! Titty Express in the corner. And now, oh, looking a little bit low on that shot. Crowd trying to get behind a little wood here, but not working so far. As the nerve. The nerve of the Russian. Vladimir in complete control of this match. And another nerve by very we're getting right on the nerves of Woken Littlewood here tonight. Up, and out, up kick, and now the crowd, now the crowd trying to see if they can get Littlewood going here. Vladimir though again cuts him off at the pass just before anything can start. And now, big scoop and a back break, and more like a, it was like really on the leg. At that time, dead leg can be very bad, and especially in Wrestling and now going for the huge bear hug. And Wogan Littlewood may be about to fade. Look at this. Look at this. Arms around. My goodness me. Zapping the life out of Wogan Littlewood. That could easily be that. End of the cover. No hook of the leg though. And again Wogan Littlewood kicks at it too. Have to say so far, Wogan Littlewood showing that he's got a lot of fight left in him. Russian drop again, though. No! Wogan Littlewood coming back. Just when you thought the Russian drop was going to connect, Wogan Littlewood coming back. Oh my god, what is he doing? No, come on. Guys, it's only a, it's only a Smackdown episode. Oh my god, look, I'm superplex to the outside. Jesus! How are both men even standing? Woken Littlewood completely crazy. Yeah, that, I don't even know how they are both standing, ladies and gentlemen, after that. And Woken Littlewood showing that he will throw anything here at the Russian to try and get the victory here tonight. But again, oh, big clothesline takedown. Vladimir now back in control again. It doesn't seem like even a superplex can. No, well, I was going to say it could stop him, but again, look, would now take an advantage here. Into the cover. No, just a one. Done it. Look, would again just trying to make Vladimir use energy by kicking out. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Twist of wood. I oh, got him. Out of nowhere, the twist of wood. And Woken Littlewood has pinned the Intercontinental Champion. Look, what a start to SmackDown Live this week. A 
ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest, he is Woken Littlewood. What a start to his SmackDown career. Oh, oh let's see what here. I've just put an amazing guest watch and we can get out of this crap town and get ready for your next concert, which will not be played in front of people like these people in Memphis. Have you seen them? Oh, well, come on, Mikey, that's a bit harsh. But does this mean our, our champ's going to have the night off here? Seems it. You know, you are right. This is a town which is full of losers, and they all know if I played here tonight, then there would be a new king for this dirty place. But then again, who wants to be a king for a bunch of low-life scum? Uh, well, our champion, not uh, being uh, very helpful, to being nice to Memphis folk. I don't want to stay in another second in this town, so let's get my things and get out of here and let the people who want to sadly stay in this dump to be happy with some five-way match tonight. Let's go, Mike. I can't stand this place. Well, there you have it. <laughs> you have to say that... Uh, Simon Kether, our World Heavyweight Champion, certainly not happy with things. Uh, as we now go to tag team action, American Alpha, of course, re returned last week, reformed, and of course were attacked by these guys, the Revival, who make their return to NSW next. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first the team of Chad Gable and Jason Jordan, American Alpha! Yeah, it was Chad Gable who came to Jason Jordan and reformed American Alpha last week. And of course, they picked up the win um, over the Hounds. Uh, but, of course, after the match, it was Scott Dawson, Dash Wilder, returning to NSW and attacking American Alpha, which leads to this match here tonight. Will it be a happy second time out? And Jason Jordan, as I said, Jason Jordan more than happy just to pick up a win after the beginning of his season seven. But can American Alpha continue and get another win and maybe just become the next challengers to the Lunatics who, who wait in the wings? Well, ladies and gentlemen, their opponents returning to NSW, please welcome Dash Wilder, Scott Dawson, The Revival! The former Raw Tag Team Champions, The Revival, back in NSW. What a coup for Maz Freeway. Picking up these two guys, sending them to contracts. And now, well, the SmackDown Tag Team Division in the recent weeks has just got a little bit more interesting. This should be a hell of a tag team contest, by the way. To these two teams going at it and then you know that American Alpha will want revenge for what happened a couple of weeks ago well sorry last episode I do apologise so here we go Scott Dawson and Chad Gable going to kick things off on this one as they never see never in NSW Oh, Northern Light into the pin already. Wow, could you imagine if that was the finish? Of course, as you see in recent weeks with NSW, if you've been watching our NXT show and Raw shows, of course, you see that it, it, anything is possible in NSW. Oh, went for the stomp, not going to get it. G Gable up. Can he capitalise? Oh, can he capitalise? Yes, he can. Drop Scott Dawson. Former Raw Tag Team Champions, of course, the Revival. And look at this. Chad Gable into the Northern Lights pin. Just to show us whatever you can do, Scott Dawson. I can do better. Gable now. Look at this. Surfboard. Technical wrestling by both teams early on. Referee there to check just to make sure. Into a pin. Nope, not going to get even a one count. What a start between these two. Into the corner. Here comes Jason Jordan for the first time. You see what a what a 
two for Maz to get both these teams back. As I say, Jason Jordan was not doing very well as a singles competitor, but put him back with Jason, uh, Chad Gable. And my goodness, mate, you've seen the difference last week. Oh, there's the drop kick. Dawson has been in this match since the beginning. Now, what are you going to think about doing here? Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, what a reversal by Scott Dawson on the way down as well. My goodness. I don't think Jason Jordan expected that when he launched Scott Dawson high into the air. And here is Dash Wilder. What is this? Oh, right across the knee. That'll take all the wind out of Jason Jordan here. Dash Wilder, of course, Dash Wilder and Scott Dawson, a very old school tag team. Not really known for the high flying, complete opposites of Chad Gable and Jason Jordan, of course. And a double Northern Lights into the pin this time. Da Dawson seeing what was coming, didn't get the, the break up, but luckily uh, Dash Wilder kicking out of two. And with the ref back turned, a rake of the eyes. I'll tell you one thing, this Dash and Dawson, my goodness me, they do like the, to taunt the crowd here in Memphis. And jaw jacket by Chad Gable turning it round again. Jordan trying to get the crowd going, but look at this big suplex by Dawson. Wilder, sorry. Not by Dawson, by uh, Dash Wilder, I apologise. Dawson's on the outside. Look at Gable, though. He can do things to your body that you do not want to do. Look at the bend on that. Right across the arm. And now, Gable trying to get the crowd going here in Memphis. I think Wilder would just like a tag at this stage. Oh, look out. Monkey flippings, maybe. Yes, into the corner. Oh, my goodness. Into the turnbuckle. Gable now. Where's he going to go from here? Going to take him over into the corner. Wilder desperately knows what was going to happen. Desperately trying to get out of it. Sends Gable into now into his corner. And now, look at this. Look at Dawson. Classic tag team moves. Big chop. Don't see much of that in, in that one partner holding the other. And again. Oh, another backbreaker. Gable. But Gable coming back with a nice arm drag. Back and forth. This action. Gable now. Big suplex. You can see the match already taking it out on Dawson. On the outside. Gable now. Just going to take his time. But no. Again. Wilder too quick. And again. Now Gable too quick for Wilder. Too many reversals in this one. Tag in. Oh wait a minute. Are we going to see it? Shadow Machine. Oh that out of nowhere. Into the cover. Jordan trying to come in here. Gets cut off. And the Revival pick up the win in their return match. And i got to tell you one thing. That was classic tag team. Get the finishing moving. Block Jason Jordan and the Revival on their return to NSW. Pick up the win here tonight. Dawson and Wilder back into the win column here. Well, referee uh, Jordan in trying to now help on Gable. Look out behind here. Come on, with a chair to the back. The Revival making their name back here in NSW. Taking out American Have a Look at the vicious chair shots by Dash and Dawson. Well, they won in their mean business, the Revival. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, remember NSW uh, comes your way four times a week. After, of course, next week's shows, of course, we have TLC, or pay-per-view. So after next week's uh, NXT, uh, we're going to have uh, next week, of course, next week's NXT, of course. 
will also be a takeover. So look out for that. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, the SmackDown Women's Champion Alex Vera will be taking on a newcomer to the SmackDown brand in Bailey. This should be very interesting. I'll get into the reasons why in just a short bit, but what a women's division action coming up next. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, it's Bailey! Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Bailey is making her way down to the ring, of course. Drafted over from Raw, Bailey, former Raw Women's Champion. And now looking to see if she can put a spanner in the wicks to the SmackDown Women's Champion. Of course, Alex Vader knows that she is so close to become the longest ever reigning SmackDown Women's Champion. Currently on um, 169 days. Uh, she is, it's currently held by Alicia Fox at 180. Um, so it can be. Uh, if she makes it to TLC, she will break the record. Bailey ready to... Uh, I don't know, as you say, try and put a spanner in the works of Vader, do you think, here tonight? Of course, Bailey, the longest reigning Raw Women's Champion. And here she comes, ladies and gentlemen, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Alex Vader! Yeah, as they say, ladies and gentlemen, she has a chance to beat Alicia Fox's, sorry, Alicia Fox, his record as being the longest reigning SmackDown Women's Champion. Really, if you think 169, uh, she could do it, um, I think, before we even get to TLC. Uh, so there's 11 days up, it's going to be touch and go. I think if she retains a TLC, she will indeed have that record. Alex Vader, one person who definitely um, split opinions, can you say, with the SmackDown crowd. But can she pick up the win over Bailey here tonight? We are underway, ladies and gentlemen. And big shots by Vader early on. Gonna make sure she puts Bailey in her place. Yeah, look at this. Oh, right between the legs. Oh, welcome to SmackDown Live, Bailey. Of course, remember, ladies and gentlemen, that we still uh, want to. Tonight will crown a new number one contender in our main event. Thomas and Danny Six, Finn Balor, Daniel Cage, Travis Soul. Fatal five-way elimination match. You do not want to go anywhere and miss that here tonight. We've got some other big matches coming up as well. Coming up after this, Jess Oakland versus Jonathan King. Mr. Smackdown Money in the Bank. Into the cover. Nope, Bailey looking for the, the pin. Not going to get it here. Look at this, the Hurricane Rana. Impressive. Bailey going to try and take the Women's Champion to the max and looked like she was going for a cut at... Oh, stupid! Bailey knows how to get down and dirty when she needs to. She might need to on this one. Big Lariato by the Women's Champion. Sent into the corner. Vera now coming in. Oh, went for the knee. Bailey ducked out of the way. And a big shot of her own. Takes the women's champion down. Oh, no. Pop back up. Forearm shot. Nice jab. Bailey now sending for the right. Oh, there goes the ref. As a big suplex. Up and over. 
Bailey now catches the leg. Look out. Oh, she's half from Boston. Thinking she could get the women's champion here. But Vader with a kick away. Quick to stop that in the tr in its tracks. Now, oh, shot into the midsection by Vader. She is not messing around here. Oh, look out. We may have a fly in SmackDown Women's Champion. Ah, oh, through the through the bottom right into Bailey I tell you what Alex Vader definitely mean in business here tonight now head first into the barrier Vader very aggressive as you can see early on making sure Bailey has a proper welcome here to Smackdown Live Back inside. Crowd here. Uh oh. What's going on here? You can hear the Smackdown live. Me just seeing a different side. Very, very aggressive here. Bailey may not have known what I have hit her early on. Bailey have been in complete control. And oh no. Oh, we've seen this before. Ladies and gentlemen. The one winged Vader, sender of the ring, cover. Has she done enough? No! A right shoulder up from Bailey. And this match will continue. Vader thought she had done enough to put away Bailey, but not on this occasion. And just now, just setting up the hugger. And snapping the net back. Bailey, they're trying to get any trying anything of a comeback yet. That might help. Hurricane Rana. Fans trying well, Bailey trying to get the fans behind her here in Memphis. Vader now struggling to, to her feet, maybe a little bit stunned by that Hurricane Rana. Complete miss by Bailey. Two big kicks trying to chop her down to size. And into the hard into the turnbuckle. Wait a minute though. Vader pushes Bailey away using that strength, but Bailey coming from behind. German suplex under the ropes. And oh, but out of nowhere, Vader catches her with a power bomb. And now, Vader, what is she thinking about here? The step through. Oh no, looking maybe for the submission. Oh my goodness me, Bailey's got nowhere to go. And maybe I just maybe this could be the end of the challenge for Bailey. Bailey desperately trying to hang on here, but my goodness, she has got nowhere to go. And she has to say yes. She has got to give up. Alex Vader picking up the win here tonight. But you have to say, ladies and gentlemen, the women's champion was taken all the way here tonight. Bailey give it her best shot. But Vader, well, she just continues this dominance over the SmackDown division. Well, ladies and gentlemen, remember that after this week's NXT... The following week we have TakeOver Philadelphia. It's going to be a hell of a show. You do not want to miss it. Of course, it will be uh, uh, not this week's show. The week after NXT TakeOver Philadelphia. And we all will find out uh, who will take on Rob Dundee for the NXT title. We'll tell you a little bit later on about that match. Coming up next, SmackDown Mr. Money in the Bank, Jonathan King, will take on the top 1%. He was drafted last week. Jess Oakland the third. Let's find out what goes down in this one next on SmackDown Live. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, he is SmackDown's Mr. Money in the Bank. He is Jonathan King.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, Jonathan King. And he doesn't care about anybody, but he cares about one thing, and that is the blue briefcase. He is Mr. Money in the Bank. He can cash in that briefcase any time he likes and get a world title opportunity. I'll tell you one thing, he makes him even more dangerous than he is at the moment. He's always a slightly dangerous individual, Jonathan King. As I said, that blue briefcase just makes him that little bit more dangerous. You know that he is going to wait for that perfect opportunity to cash it in. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing his opponent, being accompanied by the hardcore legend, Mr. Joe Disney. He is in the top 1%. He, he is G03. He is Jess Oakland the third. Yeah, he was drafted pretty high last week, of course, if you were watching us for the draft night. EC3. G03, I'll get it right one day. <laughs> Being drafted to SmackDown, of course, and that keeps Mr. Joe Disney on that because AJZ, you know, just went on to the Raw brand. G03, what is a. Well, what hasn't he done, of course, here in NSW? Has been around for. I would say since the season two? in many forms of course but he is in the top one percent and he's now ready to go on smackdown jess oakland ready for action can he pick up the win or will mr smackdown's money in the bank have just too much for the top 1% here tonight. So here we go. And we are underway for our next contest and Look at this, Jonathan King starting off with a backbreaker. I think I spoke to Jonathan King last week. He said to me, he said that uh, losing to Thomas End was a, uh, well, he said he doesn't want it to continue to be a trend and that he's ready to take apart the newcomer here tonight. As, oh, nice by Geo3 Jess. As I said, has done it all here in NSW. Big shot by the top 1%. But look at this. Back comes Jonathan King. Now GO3 taking a quick break. But no, Jonathan King going to follow him to the outside. Action spills to the floor here right in front of our fans here in Memphis. And oh my goodness, over the barrier. And now Jonathan King, we're going to fight in the fans here. Send straight back over though. My goodness me. Get, come on lads, get, let's get back here. Let's not try and get near <laughs> back over again. Break up the count here. G3 gonna come back over. I think they're gonna bring it back inside the ring. Scoop and he did the deal! Pin him! Nobody kicks out of the deal. But wait a minute. Oh caught! In a, what a pinning combination! Oh, two can only. Just use how quick Jess is. Kick into the midsection. Big clothesline. Goodness, very, very close on that occasion. Big shot by King. And then Luthers press. 
Right in front of the bunny. Into the cover. No, oh, just a one. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, I, I, I think that if people in the Twitch chat tell me to, to thank uh, Mr. Disney for the, the carrot. Of course, already did that this week if you watched Raw. Uh, into the cover again by Jonathan King. Only going to get a one. Not going to get the pin this time. Starting to get a little bit frustrated here. And that's one thing he doesn't want to do. Because this is what happened against Thomas End. Just up. Oh, look at this. Oh! Takes down King. That might have done it. You know, the head bouncing off the canvas. No, two count. And this time, it's Jess who is getting a little bit frustrated. He couldn't get the job done. Wait a minute, though. Big suplex. Now, stomping on the arm. That's what you're going to do here. Look at this now. Just going to work. Go over. And that's smart strategy. Take down the, the bigger guy. Try and take his mobility off him. King into the corner. Hard into the corner. Bouncing off the turnbuckle. Just now. You can just see in the last minute or so. He's just ramped up this aggression. But the, but the arrogance is still there. King. What's he doing here now? Look at... Oh, we're looking at it again! And this time, just thinking he has got him. And he has! Jess Oakland picking up the win. Geo 3 in the win column on his first night on SmackDown. And I've got to tell you one thing. The top 1% back in control and back in the win column. And again... And good start to his career here on SmackDown Live. You can tell that he is very impressed with his win here tonight on SmackDown Live. Now... Well, it seems like Jonathan King's going to be sporting about this. J3 going to come across here. Oh, maybe not. There's a shot to your nuts. And uh, Jonathan King. Well, I tell you, the, the aggression just may be getting to the worst of him here. On Smackdown. Wait a minute. Oh, I don't like that look on Jonathan King here. Oh, come on. There's no need for this. Vicious attack. Ref, get out of there. And you've changed colour as well. Jonathan King. What is Jonathan King? Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. Now working over the arm of the top one presenter. Ref, you've been warned. Get out of there. Look at this. Oh, that could be serious damage to Jess Oakland. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go into our next contest here as the club look to take out the Bludgeon Brothers. And the club, well, these two teams got drafted quite highly, so it's going to be very interesting to see how they end up in this one. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first... They are Carl Anderson, Luke Gallows. They are a part of the club. Yeah, Gallows and Anderson, of course, usually with their leader, Finn Balor. But of course, Finn Balor in our main event tonight. A part of that five, fatal five way. So Gallows and Anderson will be looking to see if they can get the job done over the Bludgeon Brothers here tonight. Gallows and Anderson, of course. And of course, and Finn Balor. They went collectively as the club. Maz picked up all three in the draft last week. And of course, Maz well, has high hopes, of course, for the tag team division. You've seen tonight, American Alpha and the Revival go at it. 
And now the Bludgeon Brothers and the Good Brothers, you could say, going to go at it. Ladies and gentlemen, their opponents, they are the team of Tristan Knight and Trey Savage, the Bludgeon Brothers. The most dominant team on SmackDown. But, well, they are now looking to get back and get a shot, really, at the Lunatics who took the titles off them. Trey Savage and Tr Tristan Knight, of course. As I say, Maz has got huge, huge faith in the tag team division. But, I've got to say, this is going to be a hell of a hard-hitting contest between these four. Is it is a six foot ten, six foot eight? It is going to be. It could be a long night for the club. Yeah, what was it? The tag team title reign, of course, which happened earlier on in the season, which, as I said, was stopped by the Lunatics, of course. Uh, went for 158 days. Um, only second to the force for the longest ever tag team title reign. So let's see how this one goes down. Carl Anderson going to start things off against Trey Savage. And here we go. Big closer. Wow, look at that. Carl Anderson not going to start... Stop anything down in the air. There's the machine gun. And, oh, well, there you go. That's what you get for taunting, I get. You're going to get a, a big knee into the midsection. And by the head. This is the thing. You don't want to taunt against the Bludgeon Brothers because you're not going to get many opportunities um, to take advantage. And, well, Carl Anderson there give it straight back. To uh, Trey Savage. Oh my goodness. Tossing him across the ring. Into the corner. Tag in. Here comes Tristan Knight. Look at this. This is... Look at look at the crazy strength of these two. Oh! Into the power bomb. My goodness. And already Carl Anderson needs a tag out here. Because... As I say, this might not last very long. Trey Savage, Tristan Knight, pretty peed off. Um, that they lost the tag team titles. As a stomp completely misses by Tristan Knight. Now Anderson with the up kick. Could this change things now? Could he get big Luke Gallows in there? It is. There's the tag. Now this is more of a fair fight, you could say. Oh, look at this. A nice fisherman by Tri Tristan Knight. And again, no Gallows coming back. Big Luke Gallows fighting back here. Into the corner. Teddy Express into the corner. Mowing down Tristan Knight. And oh, there's the tag, though. Mistake by the club. And Tri look at that. Trace out just mows down Luke Gallows like he was nothing. Sending him into the corner. You do not want to anger Trey Savage. That is one thing I will... That is a life hack that I will definitely give one out for free. And... Oh! There's the boot. The boot of doom that he likes to call it. Has taken out many people before. And just throwing Luke Gallows out the ring like he's nothing. Trey Savage looks like... Uh, yeah, like, somebody's just, uh, may have angered him just too much here tonight. Fans in Memphis trying to put him off as much as they can, but I don't think that's going to do anything to someone like Trace, uh, Trace Savage. Just how easy he's throwing Luke Gallows around is just scary enough, to be honest. Look at this, look how, look at the strength. Oh my god, he is not. Oh my god! He just threw Luke Gallows into the into the post. 
That is crazy. I, I've i never, ever seen strength like that here in NSW. And now, Luke Gallows is in all sorts of trouble. He's near his cone. He might need to tag out. Trace Savage has let him tag out. And now, Carl Anderson coming in. Savage again popping straight back up. Anderson, though, give, bring in the fight to the big man. Quickly rolls into the cover. Not going to do it on this occasion. That is just some crazy strength. And Gallows is taking some time on the outside. Anderson's going to have to do this alone here. Just going to slow the action and maybe give Luke Gallows a chance to get back up under the apron. Kick in. Look out. There. Oh! Stun gun! Anderson! Could he pull off the impossible? Many people could see here. No, I went for the cutter. Wasn't going to get it on this occasion. Big shot into the corner. They've sent Street Savage into the corner. Wait a minute here. What's he going to do? Sends him up. Big knee into the back. But look at this tag. And here comes Tristan Knight. And Carl Anderson. That was, well, I was going to say a mistake. Maybe not. Cuts Tristan Knight off at the pass. But now I went for the uppercut. Oh, what a clothesline from behind. Tristan Knight almost taking the head off of Carl Anderson. Anderson, though, with a judo throw. Tell you one thing here. Both teams shown why they were picked so highly by Maz Freeway. Up and over. Anderson... Oh, Deep Knight! That could do it! Cover! Two! Gallows breaks it up. Oh, my goodness. I think he had to. Because that was almost the end for Carl Anderson. Anderson, though, up kick. Stuns Tristan Knight here. Went for the drop kick. Didn't connect. Both teams stopping each other in the tracks. Luther press by... Carl Anderson. But look at this. Tristan Knight coming straight back. With the sweep of the legs. And oh no, this could be the end. Ladies and gentlemen, end of night. And that, ladies and gentlemen, should be that. Gallows are quick to break it up. My goodness me. And look at Gallows though. Gallows might be able to will pay for that. The club being decimated here. This could just be a matter of time. Oh. And look at Tristan Knight. Tristan Knight with the arrogance. Anderson in all sorts of trouble. Big back suplex. Trey Savage is just mocking Luke Gallows on the outside here. But Anderson, wait a minute, popping back to his feet here. Nope, both men miss. Knight with a punch. Oh, stuns Anderson. Anderson, though, still not giving up. Still got fight left in him. Both tag partners back up onto the apron. Kick into the midsection. Oh, and there's the boot into the face again. Cover this time for the win. Two. Oh my goodness, how close was that? Anderson thought he had it. Now has him up. That's the stun gun. That could be the one. Has Is this the huge win for the club here tonight? You know it is. And the club have oh, picked up the win. Could this be something to, for Finn Balor to take into that final five-way at Gallows and Anderson? Huge, huge win here tonight. Anderson and Gallows picking up the win. And of course, remember, ladies and gentlemen, TLC is coming up. It is going to be after next week's show. 
So, of course, after we've had NXT uh, TakeOver, the next show will be NSW TLC. So hopefully you don't miss our next pay-per-view offering. Uh, it'll be live on Twitch and, of course, on demand on YouTube. Coming up next, Gilberto LV has the huge task of welcome uh, Brody Lee to uh, SmackDown Live. This could be a very interesting contest coming up next on SmackDown Live. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first being a coming to the ring by Selena Vega. Please welcome Jalberto Al Rey. Yeah, the pride of Mexico might just be in for a bit of a tough night here tonight. But as I say, never count out um, anyone in NSW, especially Jalberto, the longest ever reigning United States champion. But even with Selena Vega by his, his side, uh, Gilberto is going to be in for a very tough task against a rejuvenated Brody Lee, of course, who draft, was drafted to SmackDown. Another coup for Maz Freeway, you would say, in the draft. Gilberto. One, well, looking cocky, looking cool here, but I tell you one thing, Selena Vega will have had him prepared because, well, what we've seen from Brody Lee in the last few weeks, my goodness me, he is a completely different uh, person. Memphis crowd. Not too uh, happy to see Gilberto and Selena here tonight. Well, I'm very happy to see Selena, that's one thing. Uh, but uh, Gilberto, yeah, you may look mean now, my friend, but my goodness me, I hope you know what you've got yourself in for. The pride of Mexico ready to go. Here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent, he is Big Bad Brody Lee. Yeah, this guy, what a cue from Asri when he picked him. As I said, not many people at the beginning of season seven thought much of Brody Lee. Thought his career was on the way out, and this, of course, of the last as a couple, about a month or so, my goodness, me, we have seen the return of Big Bad Brody Lee, and he, well, now poses a huge threat to the SmackDown roster. Brody Lee, bring in, well. His kind of justice to SmackDown Live. But can Jalberto cause a bit of an upset? Can Jalberto pick up the win over Brody Lee? Or will Brody Lee continue with his dominance as he has done in recent weeks? So here we go. And we are underway for our sixth match of the night here on SmackDown. Remember that huge main event still to come. Gilberto, as I said, <laughs> will have not faced many like Brody Lee. But Gilberto's going to... I would say if, if I'm Gilberto, I'd have to use my speed here. That might be the only thing that might be in my favour. Look at Brody. Goodness me, it doesn't, Brody Lee's just shots will really just make one shot from Brody Lee is like five five shots from other men look at this Gilberto trying to show his strength not going to happen here and just ran over by Brody Lee Selena I don't even think wants to look on the outside but give Gilberto credit he is trying to fight back here 
into the turnbuckle. Oh, followed in with a clothesline. And <laughs> just a drop of the elbow. My goodness, he just makes it... Oh, wait a minute, Yastelina trying to get in the head of Brody Lee. Maybe this could be Gilberto's path to maybe a, a victory here. A big German suplex on Brody Lee. And Gilberto now in control. Gilberto... Can he keep Brody Lee down? That's the thing. Dragging him to the centre of the ring here. Oh, just using the sole of his boot to drag it across Brody Lee's face. And all of a sudden here, Selena looks a lot happier than she did earlier in the match. Gilberto. Look at this, though. Brody Lee trying to get out of this. Oh, that'll do it. My goodness, with sharp back elbow. And then the fisherman takes Gilberto and get off his feet. Brody Lee, now look at this. Just using the ropes as a weapon. And now, again, Brody Lee could... Oh, my God! I think he could have just knocked Gilberto out, but my God, Selena Vega distracting the referee. And I think this has just really done more damage to Gilberto. Look out. Jack Knight. No! Reversal! By Gilberto. Maybe that was a part of the plan. My goodness, but, well, it doesn't really take much. In, well, there's a chair in the ring. And that, as I said, you don't want to pee off Brody Lee even, any more than he is, ang any more angry than he is. Look at Lee just stepping over the top rope. Selena, I think Selena, if I was here, I'd get it the way. Look at Selena Vega trying anything to try and stop Brody Lee getting involved. <laughs> Uh, and again, Gilberto can take advantage of the dis... Well, maybe not take advantage. Just seems like every time he does try and get a, a shot in here. Look, Selena again! Selena, what are you doing? Brody Lee really knows that... Can't get involved here. Wait a minute, the referee's chucking Selena Vega out! And that's only... I think that's a decent thing to do here. I think for her safety... Gilberto dropped across the barrier. Goodness me. Selena trying to get involved just a bit too much. Big shot by Gilberto again. But again, Brody Lee just coming back. Oh no, went for the swing and got, missed it this time. Again, Gilberto just not going to get away. And there's a big back body drop to the out, on the outside. Referee up to a five count. Brody just wants to do even more damage. Oh, over the top goes Gilberto. Well, Brody Lee's going to follow him to the outside here. And throw him, well, falls back over the barrier. Both men have to get back inside the ring yet. Referee, I think, at an eight count. Going to get rid of that chair, hopefully. And a big clothesline takes Brody Lee off his feet. Gilberto. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, is he looking for that super kick? Connects! Gilberto connects with a super kick. We could be seeing a huge win here for Gilberto. No! Two count only. Wow, that was close. Just two and a bit. Gilberto so close to the victory. Big clothesline. Second one takes down Brody Lee. Brody Lee is in trouble here. Tell the world backbreaker. What power from the Mexican. Into the corner. And now Gilberto. Look out. Moonsault off the middle rope. Now going to go up top. Gilberto looking for the win. Oh, crashes and burns with the elbow drop. And there's the right hook. But Gilberto's still not going to give up here. Brody Lee, though, shaking it off. Back elbow. Runs through Gilberto again. 
And, well, this could be the beginning of the end. He got out of it once. Has him up. Not this time. And his head hits the rope as well. And I think, ladies and gentlemen, you can count to 100. Brody Lee picks up the win. But, my God, he was made to work for it here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest, Big Bad Brody Lee. Brody Lee made to work for the victory, but another victory for the resurgent Brody Lee. I'll tell you one thing this guy. He's going to be in that title hunt very, very soon. And tonight, Gilberto, the latest victim for Brody Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, on NXT this week, you're going to see four of the best go at it and to see who will face Rob Dundee at TakeOver. John Aaron, Brent Cole, uh, El Mistico and Lee Davis. One of these four men will be the next challenger for Rob Dundee. Make sure you check us uh, out on NXT uh, this week to find out who will be the Scottish Psychopath's next challenger. Who will it be in the Fatal 4-Way? We will find out on NXT. Coming up next, it is your main event of, of SmackDown Live. Thomas N, Danny Six, Finn Balor, Daniel Cage or Travis Soule will be going to TLC to take on Simon Kevlar, the World Heavyweight Champion. Let's find out. Of course, the World Heavyweight Champion has gone home, well, gone on to his next uh, concept. But ladies and gentlemen, let's get to this and making his way to the ring first. He is Thomas and yeah this guy's changing attitude could it lead him to a shot at the world heavyweight championship well he has got to eliminate four other men to do it but he knows well it's a chance at once again getting his hand around that World Heavyweight Championship, one that he has so desperately wanted since coming here uh, in NSW. Ladies and gentlemen, competitor number two, he is Danny Six. I talked about a man with split personality, ladies and gentlemen. He is the former World Heavyweight Champion. A man that is, is said in his own mind that him, he's desperate to get his hands back on the World Heavyweight Champion. De destined to be number one again on SmackDown. And well, the dark side is here in the form of Danny Six. But can Danny Six become the new number one contender? That is the the question here tonight. Six. I said I tried to get a word with him backstage, but it, it's impossible to find him. It's just, he seems to just be more and more focused on once again becoming SmackDown SmackDown's number one the World Heavyweight Champion well though, ladies and gentlemen the next competitor we've seen his club teammates win tonight can he make it into that world title picture he is Finn Balor The man with the, you could see the greatest abs on SmackDown Live. And the leader of the club, Finn Balor. 
And of course, Finn Balor picked up a huge win over Seth Rollins last week. Can he now take out four other men tonight? A place at TLC at stake against Simon Kether. And it seems like there's a lot of members of the club here tonight in Memphis. Bala has got to be happy knowing that the Gallows and Anderson picked up a huge win earlier on tonight. But this man will be looking to stop him. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the cage. Daniel Cage! Yeah, this guy with his millions and millions of Cage fans around the world will be looking to get into the world title picture here tonight. Daniel Cage, what is that to say about Daniel Cage? An NSW original, of course. If you followed NSW for time, World Heavyweight Champion once, United States Champion once, NSW World Tag Team Champion once. Could he be a two-time champion? Or can this man make it into the title picture? Ladies and gentlemen, he is the Velveteen Dream, Travis Soul. The Velveteen Dream, Travis Soul, came across in the draft from Raw, and you know, my goodness me, what a matchup this is going to be. This is your outsider, the rank outsider, many people will say, but i got to say, keep an eye on this guy, the Velveteen Dream, the, the Velveteen Experience, of course, can he become the new number one contender here tonight? Well, here we go. Thomas End, Daniel Cage, and three others. Get ready. Here we go. It's elimination. So I will do my best to keep my eyes on this, ladies and gentlemen. So I apologise if I do miss anything. As Velveteen Dream and Thomas End inside the ring. Finn Balor takes Daniel Cage outside the ring. Look at Danny Six hopping up to that top turnbuckle. Thinks better of it. Oh my goodness, right in front of us here. Daniel Cage sending to the uh, announce table as Thomas N sends Velveteen Dream into the turnbuckle. I'm going to say it's going to be my, going to be hard to try and keep my eyes on this. Oh my god! Danny Six with a bad fall there. Could have easily went wrong. Going to go now after Finn Balor who sends Danny Six into the ring. Velveteen Dream going to be sent to the outside. Tommy, it looks like we've all swapped places. Cage back inside. Cage, Bala and Six on the out, inside. Big clothesline by Finn Bala. Oh, the clap by Tommy, by Travis Soul on Thomas End. Remember, this is elimination, so you must eliminate the other four men by pinfall or submission. Um, to win the match, all four men, four, other four men must be eliminated. Simon Kether and the World Heavyweight Championship waits at TLC. Spinning heel kick, I think, glanced by Thomas End on the outside here. Look at Danny Six with a guillotine leg drop on Finn Balor. Cage looking to pick up the pieces inside the ring. Not going to get more than just one. I think Six went for a kick there, missed. And the spine buster by Daniel Cage is traversal sent into the ring post. And again. Six wisely gets outside the ring. Big clothesline by Cage inside of it. Look at Cage just stalking, but Finn Balor do well in front. It's Travis Holt smacked right in front of me here. Big elbow drop by Thomas End. Big shot again by Daniel Cage. And the back suplex. And now look inside the ring here. Thomas End. Looking to see if he can put away Travis Soul. Oh, nice. Dropping Soul. 
down. Could this be a first elimination here? Ref has to see through a pile of bodies. And Travis Soul has been eliminated. We are down to four. As Finn Balasan over the top by Thomas End. Thomas End eliminating Travis Soul here. We have our first elimination. So we're down to four men. Big drop kick. Oh, and it looks like Thomas End has got a bloody cut on the outside. Thanks to Finn Balla. Nice bulldog by Daniel Cage. Now Finn. Oh, wait a minute. Are we looking for the. Is Cage looking for the Cage elbow? Got it! Danny Six could be out here, you know. Two! Danny Six has been eliminated! We're down to three men. Finn Balor was looking for the coup de grace. Daniel Cage cut him off. One of these three men are, is going to go to TLC. Cage. Cage bottom! Cage bottom on Finn Balor! Look at Thomas Endo. Takes down Cage. Surely Finn Balor could have been eliminated there. That could have been the end. Endo. Well, Taunton's not going to get it. You've got to try and get the other two men out here. Thomas in. Dragging Daniel Cage up. Big clothesline. Knocks him down. Second one knocks him down. Cage keeps getting back to his feet. Scooping a slam. But Cage is up. The kip up. Fighting spirit. But look at this. Gets caught with a reverse DDT. Bala is still trying to get to his feet on the outside. Look at the power from Thomas and drills Cage into the mat. Oh, and a kick at it too. I thought we were going to have an elimination. DDT by Finn Bala, who's now sort of got a, a second wind here. Oh, went for the kick. This time Endo coming back. Big shot. The blood coming down Thomas End's face. From Finn Balor that was happened earlier on. Oh my goodness, that's not going to help. Another DDT. Quickly into the cover. Could this be the end for Thomas End? No, it's not. It's just a two. And a spine buster by Cage who was waiting on Finn Balor. Dragon screw leg whip takes down Finn Balor now. Daniel Cage. Well... This is not looking good for Finn Balor here. Short DDT. Can Daniel Cage... Look at this now. Stalking Finn Balor. Has him. Cage bottom for the second time on Finn Balor. Cover. Hook of the leg. And Daniel Cage has eliminated Finn Balor. We're down to two. Who is it going to be? Who's going to go to TLC? Is it Daniel Cage? Is it Thomas End? Cage in control at the moment. Big belly to belly on the outside. More damage done. The blood pouring down Thomas End's face. Cage, you would have to think here. Could just be seconds away. End trying to get back to his feet. But a big backbreaker. Cage, now, well, he knows he's got this in control. Is he just waiting for End to get up and to finish this off? End struggles to his feet here. Cage with, misses with a shot. Look at Thomas End, where's he getting this from? Lovely combination. And now, my goodness, look out. Drops Cage down. And then, well, now going to try and work over the arm. Has him up. And has him up. Look out, drills. Cage into the mat. Hook of the leg for Thomas End to go to TLC. And Thomas End is your new number one contender.
What a match! And we now know Thomas End will take on Simon Keller at TLC for the World Heavyweight Championship. Look at the blood, the effort from Thomas End here tonight. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We are out of time here. What a night. Thank you so much for joining us for Smackdown Live. Our next show will be NXT. Do keep an eye out on our Twitter for when that will be out. But from Dave Easton and everyone here at SmackDown, thanks for watching, and we will see you for NXT.